Welcome to a video demonstration which shows just how easy it is to assemble the New Age EcoChoice line of products. This video illustrates the assembly for our bunkhouse models, but the same process is used for many others. First, sort the parts. Each part has a number like this imprinted upon it. The numbers run sequentially from one through the last part for the product. Let's watch Maria as she assembles the New Age EcoChoice bunkhouse. We recommend that you assemble your product, whatever it may be, on a flat, solid surface. Once assembled, you can move the structure to your preferred location in your yard. She starts with part number one and then interlocks to it part number two. She now interlocks part number three into the pre-assembled one and two. She now adds the second column part four and a side panel part five. Note the lift and tilt action necessary to get these parts to interlock. Parts 6, 7, and 8 are now added to the assembly, and when you've completed this stage, you'll have the basic frame of the item finish. Now, add the metal floor supports into the receivers on the side panels. Note, there are no supports for small size structures. There is usually one for mediums, two for larges, and three for extra larges. The number will vary with other models depending upon this assembly method. This is a good time to make sure the assembly is correct to this point. Make sure that the roof angles are pointing upward as shown and the holes for the locking screws are facing forward. If not, disassemble and reassemble properly. Next is the floor. The floor comes in three pieces and slides together using tongue and groove construction. You'll find it easier to complete the assembly if you lift the partially assembled floor when you add the final piece, part 11. Assembly from this point moves quickly. First add two side panels. Those are part 12 and 13. Add the small front panels 14 and 15 around the door opening and part 16 at the rear of the assembly. And now add side panels 17 and 18. Now it's time to add the door trim. Slide part 19 into place at the bottom of the door opening in the assembly. Now add the door side trim. These are parts 20 and 21. The last piece, uh, trim piece 22, we have found easiest to assemble by placing on the A-frame panel part 23 and then adding those combined parts to the assembly as shown. Now add rear A-frame, that's part 24, to the assembly. This doghouse is really taking shape now. Add the ventilation bars, parts 25 and 26. These bars allow you to adjust the amount of airflow through the house either seasonally or to your pet's preferences. For more airflow, remove one or both bars. To decrease airflow, reinsert the bars. Thumb screws and nuts like these are used to lock the entire assembly together. There are four screw and nut combinations, one for each corner, and they lock the wall panels to the corner columns. At this time, tighten, but don't over tighten. When all the screws have been added, the assembly can be picked up and moved around easily. Loosely place the four roof panel retainers, that's parts 27, 28, 29, and 30, on the assembly as shown. This shows how the retainers need to be positioned to be correctly assembled. Connect the roof panel retainers to the body assembly with additional screws and nuts. There are eight locations. When complete, 
tighten all of the screws and nuts, including those on the body assembly. Now install the roof panels. Part 31 is inserted first. Note the cutout on the lower edge of part 31. This prevents the roof panel from sliding all the way through the roof panel retainer. Add panel 32 and make sure that the hooks on the upper edge of panel 32 engage the slot in the roof panel retainer. The roof panels use tongue and groove construction like this so they completely interlock. Now add panels 33 and 34 to the second roof side. And now for the final steps. Add the roof rail which locks the entire assembly together. Position the rail over the pre-installed screws in the A-frame panels 23 and 24 and push down. And then slide the rail forward to lock into place as shown. Add the end caps to both ends of the roof rail and this assembly is complete. The assembly demonstration you've seen, not including the unpacking and sorting, has taken a grand total of 6 minutes and 45 seconds. It will probably take you just a little longer but it gives you an idea just how easy it is to put together any of the New Age products. The EcoChoice assembly system is used in a number of different products in the New Age line, like the Bunkhouse and Rustic Lodge model shown here. The EcoChoice assembly process is used in a number of products, including rabbit hutches, chicken coops, planters, and other lawn and garden products. While the end products may look entirely different and have a different end use, the basic assembly process is the same. EcoChoice models are available in eco-friendly, extraordinarily durable products for your dog, cat, rabbit, or chickens. EcoChoice models are also available in products designed to beautify your lawn and garden. These products will easily outlast two, three, or four, or even more similar products made out of other materials. All the while, they are maintenance-free and easy to clean. EcoChoice Pet Products exemplify the new age, best for your pet, best for you promise, that offers pet homes with proper ventilation that keep your pet off the ground, that are easier to get in and out of, and are the easiest to clean and maintain. EcoChoice. Buy it once. Buy it right. The best choice for you.